ASCD recently held a briefing on Capitol Hill to explore the various policies and practices necessary to transform highly qualified teachers to highly effective teachers in ways to help struggling teachers improve. On this work, there is growing interest in Congress with the reauthorization of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act to move from a definition of highly qualified to a, uh, a definition of highly effective. And we've put together this panel here to talk about the federal policies and existing professional development activities that can realize and support this goal. The single most important factor under the control of a school influencing the quantity and nature of student learning is the quality of teaching. We now know this. And so it is essential, it's imperative, that schools have a way of ensuring high quality teaching. It begins uh, with a focus on professional development planning. Uh, and it begins with the type of planning that Tom talked about, where we really focus on what are the student learning outcomes that we need, and then how do we get there? But the message was quite clear that professional learning is not something that's done on one day or two days, but it's something that happens over time. Each stressed that policymakers, in partnership with education leaders, can best foster and measure teacher effectiveness through sound federal policies and comprehensive support for ongoing professional development activities. I think it's important that policymakers recognize the need for um, ongoing training. Um, I don't think that you will find a teacher or an educator, be it administrator, who doesn't want to be at their best. And sometimes it just takes having a strong support system in place and appropriate training to help individuals to be at their best. Now, we know that if we have educators at their best, that is going to equate to having um, the best educational opportunities for our children. And that's what it's all about. I think that one of the most powerful changes we could make with regard to policy at the federal level would be to uh, change the RFP process, request for proposal process, that if within that, um, that particular process we said to anybody who gets money, you have to tell us ahead of time what impact you want to have and how you're going to tell us whether that impact has been made or not, we could do wonders. Um, we spend so much money through funded programs that aren't very effective. Um, but it's because we've never asked people ahead of time how they were going to judge their effectiveness. So I think if, if we would take that sort of five-step planning process, reverse it, and say, build this in to the RFP process, tell us before you start what evidence, what you're trying to impact, what evidence you would trust to show that impact we've made, we could, we could do wonderful things. Throughout the year, ASCD will continue to provide you with policy information and legislative updates about how best to promote educator effectiveness. Visit ASCD.org for more professional development resources and policy information.